I'm going to show how a Lomo Kino can be motorized and driven at standard cinema frame rates for about $30. The parts required would be super glue, a nut, I use a 3 8 inch nut with a diameter of 9 16 Finally, you will need a cordless drill with a nut driver. Be aware that the Lomo Kino operates at two exposures per revolution, so match your drill's RPMs to the frame rate you want to reach. This drill has a maximum RPM of around 580, which equals about 19 frames per second. First, remove the hand crank. You can use a knife to pry where it attaches to the center spindle. You don't have to exactly be careful with it because we're not going to be using it again and I don't think it will be reattachable if you change your mind. Then, super glue the nut to both the center and outer spindle. Be aware that it is actually the outer spindle that drives the camera. I should also mention that regular super glue works great. I tried epoxy at first, but it seemed to melt the plastic. Now, wait for the glue to dry. Then the camera is ready to go. And I did it for only $30. If you are concerned about the film damaging the camera as it runs out, my experience has shown that the sprocket holes will actually be ripped out of the film um, before too much pressure is built up. So. Even though I've run the film completely out multiple times, it's never put any significant stress on the camera as far as I can tell.